coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. The Castries Market Redevelopment Project is moving ahead with the commencement of Phase 1. Effective Monday 27th of May 2019, the provisions market vendors will be temporarily relocated to the old fire service headquarters site on Jeremy Street. The Castries Market Redevelopment Project will see not only improved conditions, but dovetails with government's larger strategy for the tourism industry. In a bid to improve on St. Lucia's agricultural productivity, the government of St. Lucia was part of the 2015 Caribbean Soil Fertility Mapping Project, which sought to establish a database with updated information regarding the availability of fertile soil in St. Lucia, along with five other islands. The project is being carried out by the Kingdom of Morocco. Soil samples will be collected from agricultural grades, which are cultivated and will form part of the soil fertility map. The project is expected to benefit St. Lucia in terms of food security, local employment and human resource. While the project was stalled for some time, the coordinator, Luke Emmanuel, is happy to report that the project is back on stream. According to Emmanuel, it will also enhance the country's chances of exporting food internationally. The Kingdom of Morocco is considered the leading agricultural investor in the world. Emanating from Export St. Lucia's recent mission to the United States, it was observed that growing consumer trends around eating healthy and responsibly has presented an opportunity for dried sea moss from St. Lucia. Through the guidance of Export St. Lucia, the Poile Sea Moss Association has capitalized on the opportunity and on the weekend shipped their first export to the USA. Having been put in contact with the buyer from the U.S., the over 140 farmers belonging to the association have worked expeditiously to facilitate a test shipment of sun-dried sea moss. Export St. Lucia CEO Sunita Daniel expressed her delight with this new venture. Daniel says that the U.S. market is a traditionally difficult market to access and when you get one foot in the door, you dare not let the opportunity pass. President of the Poile Simos Farmers Association, Bonaventure Jabatis, says the main aim of the association is to reduce poverty in the community of Poile, and he anticipates that with this potential new market for the export of sun dried Simos, it will go a long way in helping the association realize its goal. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.